Welcome back to my YouTube channel about DIY open source AI and Ubuntu Linux where you can just run your own AI systems and no need to be caught up in all the corporate stuff. It's all open source, it's all private, it's all on your own hardware and operating systems. Today I'm going to show you how to install Text Generation Web UI. That is a program that allows you to go to Hugging Face, which is a website of repos with different AI language models, and you can use Text Generation Web UI to load Hugging Face AI models in and chat with them. I'll show you how to do it. Let's get started. We're going to go over the simplest way to go about this. First thing we have to do is clone the Git repository. So this is the page for it. If I copy the text and then I head over to my terminal, this assumes that you have Git already installed. So we're going to Git clone and paste that address. The repo is cloned. So now I will go to CD text generation web UI. We type dot slash start underscore Linux dot sh, and it's just going to install prerequisites. It's going to install the program. And I've done this a number of times, and I've not once run into an error. They have a pretty clean installation. What kind of models you can run with this is going to depend upon your hardware, if you have a video card or not. If you don't have a video card, you'll want to get GGUF models from Hugging Face. If you have a video card, you can use AWQ, GPTQ, or GGUF models with graphics acceleration. Which models you can run is just going to depend on how much power you have. So during the installation, it's going to prompt you and ask what GPU you have. I have NVIDIA, so we're going to hit A for yes. Do you want to install CUDA 11.8 instead of 12.1? We're going to go with no on this because I have an RTX 3080, which is modern enough. So as soon as it's finished, you're just going to see this. It's going to say running on local URL 127.0.0.1 on port 7860. So what you do from there is you open up your web browser and then you navigate to 127.0.0.1 on port 7860. You go to model and this is where you download the models you want. Let's say I went to Hugging Face. I can click this model card here to copy it to the clipboard. Go back to the text generation web UI. I go to the download model area and paste it. I hit download and it's going to download that model. It doesn't really show you the progress as it's downloading, but it will show you when it's finished. You go up to this icon here and reload. Pull the menu down and select the model you want. It's going to show you the model loader. In this case, it's xlama v2 underscore hf. It should automatically select the correct one in a lot of cases. And then you press load. Just wait for it to load up. It'll show you down here the progress and all set. If you want to make the text generation web UI available over your local network so you can get to it from a different computer, what you would do is edit the file cmdflags.txt and we would put in this dash dash listen but without the API part. And we can start up. And see how now it says instead of 127.0.0.1, it says 0.0.0.7860. You can open up a browser from a different computer on your network and you type in the IP address of this computer, which in this case is 192.168.0.200 on port 7860. And you can get in from another computer. You can also password protect this if you don't want anyone else on your LAN screwing around with it. The way you do that, go back to that command flags and we'll put in another one, radio dash auth, username, vectro, password, vectro123, four. Start it up. One thing I figured out about this web UI is that it does not use SSL, so the connection is not encrypted, but I bet there's a way to tunnel it through SSH to make it secure. I can type in vectro and the password. Now we can go to the chat area and start chatting with it. This is an instruct model, so I would click chat instruct, and we would type from there what we want to learn. What is the average distance from the earth to the sun? And it will tell us. You can also go to this area here called default and use a chat template. This one says it's custom template obtained from model metadata. So if we go over here back to the hugging face card, it actually has a suggested prompt that we can use. And so we go over to default, put in the prompt template, and then where it says prompt in curly brackets is where we would actually put in the prompt that we want to give it. What is the 
average distance from the Earth to the Sun. Generate, and it will tell us right over here. You can do the same thing over in the notebook area. So if I were to take the same thing, put it in notebook, and hit generate, it's going to tell me here. This is a little bit different because under default, it has your input on the left and the output on the right. Under notebook, it just keeps going like this. I think you can actually take the same template, put it in again, and ask it a different question, like how many light years across is the Milky Way galaxy? Generate, and it'll just keep going on the conversation that way. The other thing you can do in this is switch over to the parameters tab, and it's gonna let you set the temperature. The higher the temperature, the more creative the responses are. The lower the temperature, the more nuts and bolts and straightforward the responses are. And you can play around with the temperature for different models. I usually recommend starting off at one and go lower and lower. I've seen some models perform better. It's like you can go to 0 0.2, 0 0.1. I've seen some models that perform best at 0 0.01 while others perform better around 0.5. You have to kind of play around with it. Max new tokens is not a strict number, it's just generally how many tokens can be maximum outputted in the prompt. Some of them start to act funny if they're too high, so you can play around with it. You can do 512, the next level I test is 1024, and I'll also test 2048 to see how that goes. And some models can handle a large context window and make sense with a, ma a large number of max new tokens without getting weird, and you can crank them up to 4096. I play around with some language models and some of the settings, and I eventually find what settings I think are best for that model. Once I nail that down, I post it on Twitter. So if you want to follow me on Twitter for what settings I recommend, for what language models I like, you can check out at Vectro on Twitter. Text Generation Web UI is a pretty commonly used program for chatting with models from the Hugging Face repository. If you found this video helpful in getting it installed, I appreciate if you give me a thumbs up. I'll also be doing this more often, showing you videos about DIY open source AI on your home Linux computers and in the cloud. If you subscribe, we'll keep doing this, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Let's hang out again and do this again sometime.